Hi pilots and co-pilots, Brian here. Short video today. I'm, I was asked uh, by a viewer in one of my videos when I was talking about Ortho for XP to compare possibly LA or San Diego. I've chosen LA comparing default scenery to Ortho for XP. So that's what I'm doing today. I do actually have, as far as I can tell, the default default uh, KLAX scenery as well on at the moment, not the Mr. X one. So I'm going to take off with this and then reload um, X Plane 11 with Ortho for XP and the Mr. X uh, KLAX scenery and see what the difference is. So for those people who are still considering whether it's worth trying this Ortho for XP stuff, here's another example. off looks like a very busy airport I still think this might be the uh, KLAX scenery by Mr. X I'm not 100% sure gear up yeah. well it's a great looking airport regardless of whether it's his or not I haven't set real world weather conditions. I am choosing clear settings to try and get the maximum visibility possible. But this is default scenery. Still looks awesome, look at that. I just love all the buildings. Angeles. I'm not uh, too sure where I should really be flying to get the maximum benefit of you being able to see what it looks like. I've flown into uh, John Wayne before now, so that's way down south of LA. But I've never flown into uh, KLAX and I've never been to Los Angeles itself. So, as for the correct location, your guess is as good as mine. Actually, your guess is probably better. But anyway, this is it with default scenery. You can see it's got light textures. There's a lot of buildings, different types. I think they probably match ordnance so whatever the mapping is that we use for the overlays quite well yeah a mixture of uh, apartment blocks down there there's some industrial yep there's some houses mixed in as well I'm just going to swing around so we can see the airport So I'll try and do much the same flight in a couple of minutes with my Ortho for XP tiles and my Mr. X airport. I also don't have the sliders maxed out anymore on X-Plane 11. I wanted a slightly better frame rate. I don't have the machine to do full, full view. I've got a uh, NVIDIA 960, so not the most powerful card out there, and I only have a 4690 i5. So, yeah, my machine's middle of the road, it is not super fast anymore. So, I've had to be honest and cut my sliders down slightly to get a usable experience out of X Plane 11. I'm going to fade out now, and then I'll take off exactly the same as I did there and uh, just do a loop round and we'll see what the view looks like with Ortho for XP. So here I am back at uh, Los Angeles International K LAX. This time I'm using the airport scenery developed by Mr. X. 
developer who does amazing work. Uh, he's free scenery on xplane.org. Go hunt it down. KLAX by Mr. X and install it. It really is a great rendition of Los Angeles International. Not that I've ever been there, but from what I can see from photos. So even if you're not into big airports and so on, and you want, I would recommend downloading it for X Plane 10 or X Plane 11. Install it and see what it's all about. Now I'm just going to try and take off here. Been having a little bit of trouble since I installed the new beta that I seem to be suffering with plane control. So let's just hope I can get it in the air. I'm actually going to put a bit of flap down to try and get me off the ground a little bit earlier. Okay we're good this time so you can see the great scenery rushing by me there okay let's ease up there we go you can see stunning stunning rendition of the airport and it's very frame rate friendly look at that isn't that lovely Okay, snap the back around. I think first to start with, I did a bit of a turnout around this way. Again, the buildings there, they all look brilliant. All around the edge of the scenery. And then we're heading out. This should all be Ortho for XP scenery down here can see that it does look a little different. Yeah, there you go, you can see down there. Actually they look like real houses, maps in parking lots. Doesn't put all the houses in, but that's because I do don't think I've got the scenery set to maximum here. I know I'm waving around a bit here and I'm sorry but I'm here to look at the scenery so I need to look out of the plane yeah I think you'll agree it does look nice obviously it's like a golf course of some sort some greenery anyway and there are actually high rises mapped in this which is nice I'm gonna look at this side don't even know what this is that looks some hills but if I was from this area I'd hope I would say oh that looks far more realistic and again some, oh, bit, some buildings popping in with the uh, auto scenery detailing there but uh, yeah I get the much feeling it's much more real LA. Los Angeles even though as I said I've not been here but the mountains look more accurately um, drawn in in the distance I get a much better feeling of depth. So again, for me, this is great evidence that uh, again the uh, Ortho for XP really does well. Photo scenery, but uh, generated using the Ortho for XP works very well. So the Bing Bing is the source for this. So there's some buildings down there that uh, they look good from up here, but of course they don't. They're not 3D mapped but once you're above a certain height I really don't notice it to be honest and I'll just keep coming around here for a sports ground no, what's that? is there a racetrack? would that be valid? well it must be, it's in the photo scenery if somebody knows the Los Angeles area a golf course or something down there Maybe just expensive housing. Well, I haven't quite taken the same route, that's for sure. Let's have a look out. Look at that. And then out that side. So I guess really the answer is for somebody that knows the area is you tell me which looks better. Default scenery. Or photo scenery that's been generated. And there's the airport. I 
mean, both are very good. But I do feel that this one is slightly more immersive. Yeah. Nice. So if you enjoyed this, like this video, leave me comments about whether it looks like LA to you, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of my uh, videos about Explain. But other than that, ooh, I'm really high, but I'm going to try and slam this down the wrong way now, so feel free to hang around if you want, otherwise check out my other videos and get in touch. So thanks for watching. Okay, for those of you that hung on, watch this, we're going to... This is going to be brutal. I've got to scrub a huge amount of flight out. That's a big car park down there in front. Okay. We're practically... <laughs> when the Bing photos are in, there's a plane coming in to land there. Okay. Whoa, it's a bit. I'm having a bit of uh, control issues here today. Uh, yep, there we go. Okay, he rescued. Wow. There's a bit of a nosebleed drop there, but. Right, and down we come. And uh, kill the throttle, and. Well, a bit of a bump, but not too bad, not too bad. Eh, I made it. Nice. And you can see that the scenery there really didn't kill the frame rates at all. Look at that. It's brilliant. However, I should probably exit the runway. Oh. Where should I go? Oh, let's just. I'm going to park on this side over here. I'm with FedEx, or whoever these guys are here. Yeah. So I'll just pull in here. Oh, Korean Air. Honestly. I, maybe I am. But anyway, oops, slammed it to a stop. Right, thanks for watching. Bye now.